it's Mandy Ligger from Edwards Pharmacy, and this is Around Town with Mandy. Did you know that April is Autism Awareness Month? That is correct. April is the time to celebrate and educate the community about autism, or other words, as they say, light it up blue. It's observed on April the 2nd. If you just place a small blue ribbon or a blue light, anything to just represent autism and let the community know and be aware of what autism is. One in 68 children are affected in the United States with autism. This includes one in 42 boys and one in 189 girls. You may see puzzle pieces or ribbons. It reflects the mystery and the complexity of autism. It shows that there's diversity, but in the end, they all come together and work. Today, I am here with a special guest, Mr. Gene Dodd, and he's gonna give us some information about his son who attends Queen Anne's County High School and is affected by autism. Hello, Gene. Hi, how you doing, Mandy? Good, so tell me a little bit about your son. Uh, his name is Isaiah Dodd. Uh, he was diagnosed back when he was in uh, elementary school, kind of early when the stages, nobody knew quite what it was. And he was diagnosed with autism. So uh, he went through school, public school. He attended public school. He does very well. And he's very athletic. And he wants, he wants everybody to understand and know what autism is. So we've devised this plan to make everybody aware of autism. We, and we made a charity called Team Autism. Which is shown on your shirt. Yes, which is Team Autism Wear. We have several shirts, hoodies, hats, shorts, the whole nine. Pretty much. Isaiah likes from top to bottom to represent autism in the puzzle piece colors. In the puzzle piece colors. You'll see him around town in many of them. Awesome. So that's a big thing. In the month of April, you can hook up with Gene and get some autism puzzle pieces. But from what I understand, you're hosting an event in the month of April. Um, what is the event and what's the date of the event? The event is April the 1st and it's at Churchill Park. Um, it was an event that we decided to do. We've been playing it for like two years. So it's a 5K run um, at the park. So it's gonna be very, hopefully gonna be good weather so everybody can come out. And it's basically designed to awareness. We have been on this awareness kick and we want everybody to be aware of autism. So the race, is one and the money from the race goes to all the area schools in the in the counties here. Perfect. So and then after the race there'll be food, games. Yes, we decided to call it a community day as well, where everybody can come out and, and learn something. We have uh, people for benefits for disabilities, we have laser tag, we have snowballs, we have pretty much everything a little kid would want and some adults. Perfect. And then as well, throughout the year, you guys host other events. You do um, cooking and things like that? Yes, we, uh, we have charity softball games. We have uh, fish fries. And 95% and of that money is all donated back to the schools. Uh, we donate heavily to special needs school at Queen Anne's County High School since my son was a student there. And it, it generally, it started from him. He came home one day and he was kind of upset over something and we sat down and hashed it out and we've come up with this plan and we've been sticking to it for the last three or four years. Perfect. Thanks, Gene. So remember, April is Autism Awareness Month. Be aware. Wear the ribbon. Ask questions. Don't be afraid. We'll see you next week. <laughs>